Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, to the promised Republican presidential campaign. It's fascinating to watch a bunch of things unfold. In no particular order here, from the New York Times, Jeb Bush allies threaten wave of harsh attacks on Marco Rubio, an ex-mentee, meaning that's the version of mentor, the being mentored by. Now, what's happening here? Apparently, there is there, there, there is the desire to create the appearance of real animosity between Jeb and Marco. They used to be buddies. Marco was the under Jeb's wing, but Jeb the acknowledged big guy, Marco the future. Marco has attempted to usurp the mentor, and now the, the Bush family is supposedly fit to be tied over this massive public display of disloyalty uh, by Marco Rubio. And so now all guns, political guns, in the Bush camp are trained on Marco Rubio. Seething with anger. I'm reading various elements here from the New York Times story. Seething with anger and alarmed over Mr. Rubio's rise, aides to Jeb Bush and his allies are privately threatening a wave of scathing attacks on his former protege in the coming weeks in a sign of just how anxious they have become about the state of Mr. Bush candidacy. Their looming problem in trying to undercut Mr. Rubio as unaccomplished and unprepared, Mr. Bush is himself, according to the New York Times, a flawed messenger. Over the years, he's repeatedly and sometimes lavishly praised Rubio, often on camera. And now Rubio somehow has become a fraud and undeserving in many such tributes. One of those, Mr. Bush declared in a 2012 TV interview that Marco Rubio had, quote, the intellectual acumen and the fortitude to be a good president. But that's three years ago. And whatever acumen and whatever fortitude Rubio had, it's gone now. The Rubio camp are also telegraphing a warning that has already reached many of Mr. Bush's donors. And that warning is this. Such an assault would be beneath the dignity of the Bush name. That's the Rubio pushback. That's beneath the dignity of the Bush name to go after me like this. Mr. Bush should focus on resurrecting his own candidacy, not on trying to tear down Mr. Rubio, who they contend represents the future of the Republican Party. Now, what as a casual observer, I've read to you the highlights of this story. Let me repeat them, because I have a question for you. Jeb Bush languishing at four to five points in poll after poll after poll. Rubio gaining ground. You know, the, the inertia, the consensus is that Rubio and Cruz are now rising. That Trump may have leveled off a bit. That Carson skyrocketing. Meanwhile, all this is happening and Bush can't get traction. And so Bush, fearing the Rubio rise as the most legitimate of all of that's what the Bush campaign thinks. That if it isn't Jeb, it's going to be Rubio. You know why they think that? Establishment donors. The Bush campaign thinks that if they don't get it, Rubio is. Because the donors get what they want and establishment donors are going to go to Rubio. So they've got to tear Rubio down. And they're prepared to do it. My question, can any of you ever remember a story even vaguely similar to this, except the target was a Democrat? You can't, can you? Can you ever remember a story where the Bushes are targeting a Democrat opponent? George H.W. Bush as president? Nope. George W. Bush? They viewed attacking Democrats as somehow beneath the Bushes. That's where that comes from. And beneath the dignity of the office. You don't politicize. You don't go after your political opponents this way. Not of the other party. It's really strange. I mean, Jeb is totally prepared to politically decapitate Marco, but wouldn't think of this kind of approach to say Hillary or Joe Biden. And it's it's really curious. They think they can work with the Democrats. 
I mean, you know it and I know it. They've uh, they've pretty much said so. So anyway, the, the, the Bush long knives are out for Marco Rubio. 